today I'm going to be talking about the compound light microscope, which is right here. It often uses stains to see cells better and has a max magnification of a thousand times, as opposed to the electron mi light microscope, which has a max magnification of 500,000 times and slices specimens very thin in order to see. So first on the compound light microscope is the eyepiece, which contains the ocular lens. Then we move to the arm, which supports the microscope when being carried, along with the base. The base supports the entire compound light microscope. And when you carry this microscope, you carry it by the arm and the base. Next is the stage, which supports the slide being viewed, and the stage clips right here they hold the slide in place in order to see. The nose piece, which is right here, holds the high and low power lenses and can be rotated to change magnification. And here are the three objective lenses on the compound light microscope, which include the scanning power, which is the smallest one, the low power, which is the medium one, and the high power objective lens, which is the biggest of the three lenses and has the highest magnification. And their magnifications, the objective power of each of them, when the scanning power is four times, and the low power is 10 times, and in the high power is 40 times. In order to calculate the total magnification, it's the ocular power times the objective power. And the ocular power in this microscope is 10 times. So for the scanning power, it would be 10 times four. So the total magnification of the scanning power objective lens would be 40 times and then so on, so 40, then for the low power lens, it would be 10 times 10, so 100, and for the high power lens, so on, so 400. Total magnification. Here is the diaphragm, which regulates the amount of light on the specimen from the light source, and the light source projects light upward through the diaphragm, through the uh, specimen, and through the objective lenses. And here are the two knobs. Here is the course adjustment knob, which moves the stage up and down for focusing, and that is only used with the scanning power. When you use the compound light microscope, you always start with the scanning power and get it focused with the course adjustment knob, and then you can move on to the higher magnification objective lenses and use the fine adjustment knob, which moves the stage up and down slightly to sharpen the image. And that's, those are all the parts and functions of the compound light microscope. When you are looking through the eyepiece in the compound light microscope, the, when you move the specimen on the stage left, it appears to move right in the eyepiece. So when you move it up, it appears to move down. And the specimen, when you look through it in the eyepiece, it appears upside down. So when you put a ruler in, you'll see it upside down. And additionally, with the compound light microscope, you, the field of view decreases as you change to a higher magnification objective lens because you're zooming in more, so the field of view will decrease. And then lastly, you always, when looking at the compound light microscope, you have the arm side facing towards you. So, thank you.